Hi everyone. We're going to talk about the counting formula. This is a very important formula for probability and for uh, set theory. It's also important for the next video that you'll need when we do uh, use Venn diagrams to find the numbers and uh, we can use this formula. So this is our basic formula. Uh, if A and B are finite sets, then the number of elements, that's what they're talking about, of uh, A union with B is the number of A plus the number of B minus the intersection because uh, you count that twice. Now, if A uh, union B equals the empty set, then you don't need to uh, have this part here. And the general addition of counting, uh, the counting principle uh, for n sets is here, so that's just basically you're just counting up the numbers. Um, and remember, or means and. So basically, when you you do this, when no two element they have no two elements in common. And I think the best thing we to do is just to do some examples. So we have uh, this example. We have n of uh, the number in a is fifteen. The number of B is 20, and the number of A uh, union B is, or intersection with B is 10. So we want to find the number of A union B. So what we're going to do is write down our formula, uh, and I'll just start from here to save space. So this equals, from the previous page, the number of A, uh, the number of elements in A, plus the number of elements of B, minus the number of elements that were in common to both, so the union. So we have 15 plus 20 minus 10, and that equals 25. It's pretty simple if you know your formula, okay? When you get into probability, um, you'll do much more uh, real-life uh, work on this. Okay, the next one. We want to find this, um, the union of the number of elements of A intersection with B. So what I'm going to do is write down my formula here. Uh, the number of A when it unites with B equals the number of A in A plus the number in set B minus the number in um, A uh, intersects with B the one that's common, common to both. So I uh, use substitution. I have 45 equals 30 plus 40 minus this. And what I'm going to get is um, in the number of A intersecting with B, equals 30 plus 40 minus 45, which also equals 25. That's my answer. That's just solving. All right, um, the next one, it's the same thing. So I'm going to write down my formula, which is the number of um, the, uh, the number of elements of A united with B equals the number in A, uh, the number of elements in B, minus the number that they both share in common, which is the intersection of the elements of A and B. And I fill everything out. I get 50 equals, I don't know what the number in A is. Uh, my number in B is 20 minus 50. So I solve for this. So this is going to give me um, 50 equals, why is this 10? Did I write this down wrong? This should be 10, sorry. So minus 10. So when I do this, I'm going to get um, 40, 50 equals the number in A plus 10, so 40 is my number of elements in set A. 
Okay, the last one is um, a little harder. It has that um, my union of uh, elements in A and B is 60, and my intersection of A and B is 40. They say the number in A equals the number of B, so what's the number in A? So it's pretty simple. I'm going to write down my formula. So I have this. number in A plus the number in P minus the the elements they have in common the intersection so I have 60 equals now my number in A equals my number in B so I'm just going to write them as a number in A plus the number of elements in A. So there's two of them, because they're going to be the same anyway. Minus my 40. So I get 100 equals 2 times the number in A. And so 50 equals the number in set A. That means 50 is also the number in set B because we did the substitution thing here. And that's all. The next video is going to be over Venn diagrams and um, using the counting principle with Venn diagrams. Thanks and have a nice day.